is there ever a student that you taught that you just that you just hated or you don't like or there's there's one student that comes to mind where i just won't like like if i saw him in person i would just ignore him as opposed to wow, like you, every other student i would like you won't be forget super him? Sad. no it's been years so the story with that is that i when i was the journalism teacher i would take kids on field trips every year um to like journalism conventions that were like national things so it was like every high school in the country would a like journalism set, convention yeah high school journalism conventions wow. they, they were a great time and so i took kids to boston this one year like so we were there it was like the second day we were there for three days we woke up on the, the like the morning of the second day and i'm trying to get everybody together in the lobby of the hotel in boston and i'm like counting counting heads and there's there's one off and this one kid comes up to me i'm, I'm going to change the the student's name just for the sake of the story yeah. um this one kid comes up to me and says we don't know where mike is and i'm like what are you talking about like i i watched you close the door when you guys went to bed in this hotel room last night and then now it's the morning. Like, what do you mean you don't know where he is? And he's like, this kid's like, um, well, he left last night. He said he was going to go meet some girls and he didn't come back. And I start losing my oh mind my because it's in the middle of it was, it's in the, like downtown Boston. And, oh and we went to bed like the last event. And you're we responsible had. for every student. I'm responsible. Exactly. So I'm like, this kid could be fucking dead. And so I'm having a panic attack. And not, not only that, but one of the chaperones that I brought with me was my boss, um, who was in, like, in charge of the entire English department. Yeah. And I'm like, my boss is watching me like lose a kid and lose my mind. This kid could be fucking dead in an alley somewhere. And so I was losing my shit. I, like, I was calling this kid nonstop, and I just went into like a different like mindset where I'm like, I need to track down this kid if it's his fucking dead body or what. Like, I don't care. I need yeah. to, like, I'm going to get fired if I don't. I need to bring arm back or something. Right. Like, I don't care if it's his eyeball. Like, fingerprints, something. Exactly. Yeah, I need okay. something. Eventually, he picks up the phone and he's like super groggy sounding. I'm like, hey, man, where the fuck are you? He's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I just, I guess I slept in. I'm like, that's bullshit because I'm with your three fucking roommates. We're in the lobby right now. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and um, eventually, I, like it, it's funny that this was at a journalism convention because I was doing like detective work of like, tra- <laughs> <laughs> like trying to put the pieces together, but um, I eventually he found him. He took a cab to a different hotel to meet up with some girls that he met at the journalism convention, and Fuck. so like I eventually like I take a cab there. Um, he like eventually tells me where he is. I meet up with him, and I'm like it, it, I'm sitting down with him. I'm like. It looks like I'm happy to see you, but it's only because you're alive. Like, other than that, I'm, like, at the end of my fucking rope, right? Like, I'm just going to – I I told the story a couple weeks ago about how mad I was in, like, to a classroom, but this was, like, the most directed anger at, like, a single student right. I've ever had in my life. I'm like, I'm going to strangle you. I'm like, you're going home immediately. Like, I'm sending one of the chaperones home with you right now. I'm going to book a flight. You, I can't fucking trust you to stay here for a, another night. Like, are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> right. I heard stories later. It's like, yeah, you know, he hooked up with – both girls that were in in the room like other students were telling me this i'm like listen man good good for him if it's if if like like he he pulled off something great if i right. were 16 and i could hook up with <laughs> with right. two other girls in another high school like good for him but i also still want to murder him but like the repercussions were he had to fly home immediately i kicked him out of my class um wow like he could not be a newspaper i'm like i'm not gonna fucking deal with this kid like look at him every day like third period like oh you know what story ideas do you have today i'm like get him the fuck out of my class i never want to look at him again and oh uh <laughs> and so yeah that's the kid like I, I actually did see him one more time he i was on like a lunch break a, a couple years later and he was um like delivering the the food at, with like a bunch of other teachers and he comes up and, and puts all the food down he's like oh hey jeff I'm like, oh my god! I was like, you know, <laughs> I, I was like, hello, and then he walks away, and all the te- other teachers are like, ooh, Jeff. That's I'm like, any other student could call me Jeff, and I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't lose it. But like that fucking kid, I'm Mr. Killinger for life to that kid because I, <laughs> I, I could have murdered him and should have, but I, you know, I, so, did you yeah, get a punishment when he got back to school? Yeah, I, I think I forget what it was. It was some kind of suspension. I think he was out of school for like maybe a week or something. Because wow, like, I would have, just, if I was in your shoes, I wouldn't have handled it that well. It, it, it was it was so I much of it. Known to send him home. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was my only. I that was my like, only option. I feel like that's something that I would have done on a field trip, and I don't think I would have gotten a detention or gotten kicked back on the trip. <laughs> you think you would have? Well, with it? that's I because you're the. Away yeah, with right, it. Dave. You sleep with two chicks. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> that part was probably not it. I was probably going to meet up with some guys to play video games. But 